We are very pleased with our partnership with Long's Jewelers and the BAA uh, on this uh, very interesting project to produce the first ever trophy uh, for the Boston Marathon. In many ways, the very essence of the Boston Marathon, not only will it enumerate each year the various winners of the Boston Marathon, but it also will include in its makeup the, the course as we know it, the 103-year-old Boston Marathon course, and the laurel wreath that we, that we crown the winners with, and the unicorn, which of course is the, is the very essence, the very symbol of the BAA and the Boston Marathon. And that has all been combined uh, through the creative process here at Reed and Barton to a, a very special trophy that will become part, I believe, of the legend and the lore of the Boston Marathon going forward. With this trophy, we're also looking forward to the next 100 years. Therefore, it's, it's very symbolic and very important. The trophy is all sterling. We'll have sterling plaques on the base. The base is made out of mahogany, and you'll get a chance to see that uh, when we get out in the plant. What it is is comprised of a base, which is spun, a body, which is spun, and a, a cover, which is spun. It's all made of sterling silver. It's got a finial. It's got a little um, piece that gets soldered to the cover, and then a finial gets soldered to that. The cover gets soldered to the body. The body gets soldered to the base. And onto the base is a mount, which is right over here, which is being fabricated now, which is being soldered together. And that mount will be wrapped around the base and soldered to the base. Then these two handles, which are sterling castings, will be soldered to the body, like so. And when this is all soldered, you'll get grease buff and polish bright and then it'll be sent out and it'll get all engraved uh, Boston Marathon trophy on the back on the front then a mechanism is soldered to the bottom of the base and it's and another mechanism is mounted to the top of the uh, wooden base so that the finished plumbing cup can be just taken off the wooden base very easily but yet locked on very securely so it'll just go on and twist it'll be locked on